it is time. So uh, I picked this song, Invincible, by Eddie Vedder. And uh, I am not a Pearl Jam fan for no particular reason. Just never really got it. Um, you know, respect, but I probably don't know any Pearl Jam songs outside of what had been, you know, played on radio and stuff, right? Oh. Um, and so, yeah. And so I came across this song uh, last year. And it's from Eddie Vedder's solo album called Earthlings. I don't know how many solo albums Eddie Vedder has made, but it's a recent one in the last few years, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and the song's called Invincible. And I heard it. And that was my first moment where I was like, holy shit, this Eddie Vedder guy is good. Let me, <laughs> guys, let me let you in on something. This Eddie Vedder guy, if you haven't heard, is really fucking good. And uh, it was one of the songs that I just like listened to on repeat in a way that I hadn't listened to a song on repeat since I was like a kid putting a, a needle on a Led Zeppelin album, you know? Um, and so it was, it was cool to experience music so powerfully um you know still right and and it so i thought that that was awesome and i was kind of like aware of that and uh haven't heard it in a while like since i went on this invince eddie better invincible binge but uh thought i'd submit it and then we could listen to it here all right let's jump right into it we're listening to eddie vetter invincible right here on galaxy jams reacts Sounds like uh, Talking Heads, the way that he's talking Yellow. right now. I appreciate a good lyric video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god i absolutely wow. adore this i love how powerful and inspirational it is and i like how it's a cross between so many yeah. different genres it's like mm -hmm. you know almost gospel-y but like dancey and like fun but serious at the same time it's really really awesome yeah 
you know, and I'm, I am a Pearl Jam fan. I do love them. I wouldn't say, you know, I got a Pearl Jam tattoo on my arm or anything, but um, I do really like this song, but it, it's it's such a, such a different uh, feeling for him uh, from his music. Because even like some of his acoustic stuff that he did before, it still kind of had, uh, you know, oh, that's Pearl Jammy. Uh, this is totally different, though, and I really, really dig it. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, he had like Soul, I mean, Coldplay, uh, mixed with a little bit of Pearl Jam just because it's Eddie Vedder, but also like a sprinkling of Peter Gabriel. I, mean, I get a lot of Peter, yeah, Peter Gabriel yeah. vibes off of that. Um, a lot of Peter Gabriel cool. vibes. I agree. Yeah. Very cool song. And I'm I'm loving it. It's nice. I haven't heard this. This is great. Yeah. Thank cool. you so much uh, for sharing this on the show. Let's jump back in. Yeah, so feel important. You are like yeah, Peter Gabriel right there. That the way he held that out. For sure. Okay, great. Huge drums. I love how Ho made the video look. like how it just kind of drops out and leads uh you know more room for you to think about things i thought it was cool it's not anything that i would expect eddie to really do even though i'm not a gigantic pearl jam fan i really really like how he's like stepping out and doing something that's a little bit more uplifting and different while still maintaining like his own brand and like the way you know his style and things like that i really re- and yeah. i like how he's still making music i mean even mm-hmm. you know to like nowadays so it's and making good music right you know, this was a great song. It's a great song. It's great how it was put together and produced, and the layering on the tracks, uh, production wise, was very nice and yeah, very. Yeah, the drums sounded huge. Epic. Yeah, epic and broad. It had a really great sound to it. Couldn't imagine seeing yeah. that in concert in a big stadium would be amazing. Yeah, people like crying and like their lighters and their phones out, and it would just be this whole thing. I mean, it's it's anthemic, right? right? Yes. That song. Yes is is anthemic and it makes you want to rally behind whoever is playing that song you know and and so that's when i pledged my allegiance to (laughs) (laughs) i want to stand on the mountainside and look out over the valley and listen to the song (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's a. It's hard to make something that sounds this uplifting, but not make it like cheesy, you know? Right, right, right. And right. like, I really like the way because I feel like this is a song that like some people really need, you know. And it's like, you know, I feel like some people they're almost shying away from being that open, being that vulnerable, and like, you know, connecting with their audience like in that type mm-hmm. of way to show them, you know, that you know you can really do it, and you should feel good about yourself. And I really like when bands use their music to be able to make people feel that way. 
way, you know, and not, you know, think like, oh, it's already been done or, oh, it's not my place or, oh, I don't want to sound a certain way. I really like the way that he's taking his platform and using it in like the most positive, you know, love transferring way possible. Absolutely. Yeah, man. You know, so. Well said. Well said. Thank you. And thank you so much for sharing that song with us, Aaron. We really, really appreciate that. Uh, thank you. And also, you said that you listened to this, uh, was it the album on repeat? Is there another song that uh, you liked on this album, especially, that we should check out too later on? No, I listened to that song on repeat. Oh. I definitely listened to the, the rest of the album. And it's interesting, you know, for sure. Like, you know, check it out. Um, that one stands out i mean i think it leads the album right you know was probably the single if there was a single that was associated with that album like that's the one um or maybe i just particularly like it and <laughs> it yeah, spoke it's to like you. that you know and it spoke to me right yeah. i mean subjective but but you know are, are we not all feeling good song. yeah i feel oh like, yeah and i feel like as i get older it's like harder and harder for music to like crack that shell of mine you know because it's like i'm like oh i like what i like and you know as it gets older like i try and like be really open and i try and like find you know something that connects with me and i feel like as it gets older it's like less and less that lightning bolt is hitting me oh, so i yeah i stopped short of saying that before and you know that like and and you know, it's like, I don't really get affected by music as powerfully as I did that song when I heard it often, right? And I think you're right. I think that's why. It's like, you know, we, we still get affected powerfully by music, but we like the things that we like. And right. it wraps us up in a blanket, you know, because we're familiar with it. And, you know, that's why we like it. And then you just, the only thing that you like are the things that you like. And so when something is able to penetrate that, you know, it's a, a cool, especially when you discover it yourself, you know, and it's not like, you know, the, the I don't know, your friends all talking about like a new band that you have to see. Right, you know, right, 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 like right. That, right. Like you discover it in some other path um, and it, it, or it finds you rather right yeah i yeah. i think that way and i think that way honestly about food too because it's like sometimes like with food like when i like i like what i like but i always love when i try something new and i'm like oh my god like this is it like i could eat this every day and like i really like that as well you know because i was like yeah, yeah, it's harder for me to find like new food that i even want to try let alone like something that's going to be like a new personal favorite of mine you know music's kind of like the food for your emotions and your soul right so it's mm -hmm. kind of the same thing mm-hmm a tasty jam. That's why we say yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, bringing that to us. Hi, this is Mike with Galaxy Jams Reacts. We hope that you enjoyed that React video. Be sure to check out the links below of when we're going to be live streaming our next show and also how to watch full episodes. Please hit that subscribe button. Every single one helps.